Good morning again to my subscribers. So our topic for today is CBT 0004 which is SOPEP or what we so called shipboard oil pollution emergency plan. So our first question is for which of the following would your SOPEP require a pollution report to be made? So the answer is the oily water separator overboard discharge contained oil above 15 ppm. So that's the answer. Next, which of the following are good ways of preventing operational oil spills from polluting the water around a ship? Select all that apply. The correct answer is all these four, which is regular pressure testing of bunker lines on deck, frequent checking along pipelines while loading bulk lube oil, plugging deck scuppers, and frequent checking of the levels in fuel tanks during bunkering. Okay, that's the four correct answers. Next question, which of the following best describes the general scope of ASOPEP? So the answer is, it must cover the response to any polluting oil discharge. From a small spill to an oil on the ship. Okay. Next, which of the following best describes the main aim of the OPRC convention? So the goal of that is to improve the cooperation between governments when oil pollution needs to be cleaned up. Okay, that's the answer. Which of the following best describes the main purpose of Shipboard Marine Pollution Emergency Plan or SMPEP? The answer is to ensure that chemical pollution is reported to the relevant authorities quickly and effectively. Next, which of the following best describes the main purpose of SOPEP? So the answer is to ensure that pollution is reported to the relevant authorities quickly and effectively. Okay, next question. Which of the following best describes the meaning of mitigating activities that will be covered by your SOPEP or SMPEP? The answer is activities that prevent or reduce the amount of pollution. Next, which of the following best describes what you would ex expect to be covered in a preamble to a SOPEP? or SMPEP. It is a general overview of the plan and introduces the basic concept of the plan. So that's the correct answer. Next, which of the following best describes the when a SOPEP pollution report must be made despite the fact that no oil has entered the water? Answer is when something happens on the ship that makes it probable that oil may enter the water soon or after. Next, which of the following best describes when instructions in a SOPEP or SMPEP can be ignored? The answer is when there is another pollution response plan which takes priority. Next, which of the following best describes when your SOPEP should not be used during an oil pollution emergency? When local laws require a different response procedure. So that's the only way. Next question. Which of the following best describes where the master can get up-to-date information on the contents of a bunker tank that has been found to be leaking through the hull? The location of the information will normally be identified in the non-mandatory part of the SOPEP SMPEP. Next, which of the following best describes where you should send pollution reports if you are at sea? So the answer is to the nearest coastal state at the contact point given in the IMO list attached on your SOPEP or SMPEP. Next, which of the following best describes where you should send pollution reports if you are inside a harbor? To the contact point listed in your SOPEP, SMPEP, or obtained when arriving at the port? That's the correct answer. Next, 
which of the following best describes who decides what has to be covered in a SOPEP or SMPEP. The IMO content guidelines should be followed. Next question. Which of the following best describes who else you should send pollution reports to after local authorities have been informed? Answer is to the ship in interest contacts listed in your SOPEP SMPEP. Next question. Which of the following describes why SOPEP SMPEP often have section on public affairs in them? Answer is to set out company policy on taking to the media during emergency. Okay. Next question. Which of the following best describes why SOPEP SMPEPs often have instructions on taking of oil samples to them? Answer is to set out company policy on taking samples during a pollution emergency in case of court proceedings. Next, which of the following best describes why a scenario involving loss of tank environment control is required to be covered by SMPEP? The answer is the cargo may reach a critical condition leading serious damage to the ship and major leak. Next, which of the following best describes why a special form is included in your SOPEP or SMPEP for use in making pollution reports. Answer. It ensures that all relevant details are reported and can be understood by persons who do not speak English as their first language. Next question. Which of the following best describes why cargo contamination is required to be covered by as SMPEP? Answer is cargo contamination could lead to hazardous conditions. Next, which of the following best describes why it is necessary to carry out regular SOPEP drills? Drills? Drills. Sorry. The plan is to little value if not familiar to the crew. That's the answer. Next, which of the following best describes why the SOPEP SMPEP is required to cover contamination? Containment system failure and hull failure separately. Answer is oil leaks from hull failure will go straight into the water, but failed containment systems may allow water pollution to be avoided. That's the answer. Next, which the following best describes why the intervention convention may be mentioned in a SOPEP or SMPEP? Answer is, it allows coastal states to dictate actions during a marine pollution incident. Next question. Which of the following best describes SOPEP SMPEP contains section on national and local coordination? So the answer is, coordination is necessary to keep the effects of pollution incident small. Next question. Which of the following best describes why your SOPEP SMPEP contain a section on salvage to provide guidance to the master on when salvage assistance should be sought for their ship? Okay, that's the answer. Next, which of the following is the best reason why casualties causing hazardous vapor release are required to be covered by your SOPEP SMPEP? So the answer is vapor may release may lead to a fire and explosion followed by a major pollution that's the correct answer next question which of the following best describes which ships needs to carry SOPEP on board so it will apply for the ships all tankers over 150 gross tonnage and all other ships over 400 gross tonnage. So it will apply SOPEP on board. And for the SMPEP ships, ships that carry noxious liquid cargos that are over 150 gross tonnage. So if you are carrying noxious liquid substances, tanker, 
So you are required to carry SMP. Which of the following describes a mitigating activity that may be found on SOPEP and SMPEP? Use absorbent materials to remove oil from the water. That's the correct answer. Next, which of the following is a safety precaution that might be required by your ship's SMPEP after a small spillage of noxious liquid onto deck? Protective clothing is the, to be worn during spill clean up that's the answer next question which the following is a way that you can minimize pollution after a bunker tank has overflowed transfer some oil from the overfull tank to an empty one okay nice idea which of the following is an important consideration after your ship has run aground should be covered by your sopep as mpep the answer is transfer of oil from a leaking tank may cause the ship to break up. Okay. Next question, which of the following is an operational spill that may be covered by your SOPEP SMP? Correct answer is steady loss of oil from the stern tube header tank. Second to the last question, which of the following is the correct full name of SMP? Shipboard Marine Pollution Emergency Plan. So that is the full definition of SMPEP or Shipboard Marine Pollution Emergency Plan. And for the CSOPEP or SOPEP, the full definition or full name is Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Plan. So always remember that. Okay. So that is for now about SOPEP as an SMPEP so if you think you have gained a little knowledge about this video tutorial please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and please hit the like button and notification bell for you to be informed every time I upload my new videos so Thank you and see you on my next video tutorial. Safe sailing!